Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. We are wrapping up the, the Faster Than Light on Normal as the Kestrel. Speed run, sort of. I've kind of slowed down a little bit since, since the beginning, but... Um, this is actually going really well for a normal run. Uh, I think we'll, this will probably be a pretty easy opportunity for me to beat it. Stress signal. I care more about stores at this point. Really need to get better items if we're going to trade fuel. Ten fuel for two missiles. Sure. I have an abundance of missiles. Got some scrap for that. Nothing of note. Booking right through this sector pretty quick. Participate in the study. It's actually a trick. Got beam, beam, laser. No need for the defense drone then. Max out the engines is fine. We got boarded. We'll send the slug. Slugs are about the same as humans when it comes to combat, but I kind of like using slugs. We'll just fire all of them at once since the heavies will do the first damage. Get two of the shields out of the way. Hey, look at that. We actually pierced the shields. Powerful medbay. Our little buddy here is going to need to get healed. Alright, now that that's done, let's get these on the weapon lineup. Actually, one on the drone control. Oh, Rockman needs to get out of there now. Oh, wow. Got pretty lucky with the hits there. Anti-ship drone mark two. Sweet. Even more offense. But I don't have enough power. I don't have enough drone control power to actually use that yet. So I'm not sure. We might go that route. I'd really prefer to get cloaking. Cloaking is really useful against the mothership because you can, you can avoid the power surges and stuff. Excellent. Two stores. Perfect. Let's see what we get. Something good. Come on. Something good. Good, good. Oh, it's a defense drone. Crew teleporter and cloak. Okay, we'll take the cloak. Actually, I'm not gonna... We have plenty of drones. We can use our drone repair. Um, cloak. Yeah, we'll take the cloak in the system. Crew teleporter? Probably not. Anti-ship drone is quite good. I think we'll just just do that for this store. You only really need one level of cloak also to, to make it useful. Got crew, anti-ship two, got a boarding drone, second defense drone. Twin defense drones is only four power and it's very efficient. They're, they're quite good. This is not what I was hoping for though. I don't really need crew, but I guess we'll, we'll take them just for the sake of having them. So you can go assist in the weapons room, you go assist in the shield room. I want to keep those up pretty much at all costs. That's four. We could have one more crewman. But, uh... I don't know. We are friendly. Wow, this sector took like four minutes. Alright, so, same old, same old. Burst our way through. Got a boarding party. One good reason to have extra crew. We'll leave the NGs on the on the stuff because they're terrible at combat. Even though Jill is really good with weapons, I might start training up Yo's as a backup plan. Humans do twice as much damage as those guys do. I will not accept surrender. Never. Never give up, never surrender. And of course, Oni's quite good with the shields. But I, I think I'm, I'm gonna just train up a new person. Matt. Let's train up Matt, the NG. Who would name an NG Matt? I mean, really? He's a robot. NGs are robots. Did you know that? Look, I'll explain this. Go ahead, look. Partly organic or entirely mechanical. Basically, it's a robot. The robot. We'll assist. Oh, we're gonna get boarded for sure. We'll send the rock and Oni, because I think Oni's been working on his combat skill. He's getting pretty good at it. You know what? Let's just do this. 
We'll open the door. Come into the weapons room. Come on in. Four on two. Second boarding party. There's an engine, or uh, a missile, excuse me. So let's get that defense drone out. Break and fire. Oh! That looked like a personnel bomb. Get out, quick. Uh, keep the shields up. Engines down. God, look at that. Yeo's only has a couple life. At least he's caught in the fire room. And he's teleported back. Um, is there an easy way to vent this? I think so. Alright, at least we blew them up with auto-fire, basically. Attempt to contact the NG. Alright. Just waiting on that oxygen. I, I keep forgetting, actually, I have cloak. That's right. Let's all go fix the uh, weapons. <laughs> go. Come on, guys, you can do it. Okay, Jill can stay there. You two are combat response team. You hang out there just to help keep the weapons operational. Everyone's at 100%. 500 scrap in the bank. I think we can go here. We can get two more jumps in this sector. Booby trap the cache to slow them down? Sure, I have no, no need for missiles. And that might actually be it for this sector. We'll see where the uh, rebels end up at. Drone parts. Sounds good. Nope, can't actually hit it. So next sector, and we're at the last stand. I guess I'm getting the achievements because I'm playing on normal. Alright, come on. Give me a store on the way over there, please. So I've got all this scrap, and I'd really like to use it on something powerful. Alright, no missile launcher. Two drones. Um, we'll just do the normal deal. He's got his own. The great thing about using primarily missile-based weapons is you don't have to worry about anti-defense, like defense drones on their end. Barely got anything in there. I don't think they can pierce my shields. Pretty sure they can't. The beam guy is useless. This guy only does one damage. He's got a hull beam, hull beam which is useless against shields. I think we're totally fine. We actually just shot one of his drones. If, if the drone intersects the laser path, they, they'll die. Which is awesome. It's too bad you can't target the drones, though. All right, well, we can find... It's possible to find stores in the last stand, but... He's trying to escape. So we'll just train the next blast on the... on the top spot. Just to make sure that the engines are down. And, uh, oh, I totally missed that big missile. Nice. Breach in the cockpit. That'll be problematic for them. I pretty much got cloak just for the mothership, so... The fact that we're not really using it much doesn't really matter that much. Nazia. Oh, we gained a human. She's new. Alright, so we're fully crewed. That's good. In that case, it would be kind of nice to have a, uh... Let's, let's check out the repair spot, just to see if there's also a store here. I don't remember how it works. No, they just give us stuff. No stores. Alright, well, in that case, let's cap out the ship, then. Um, I'm gonna want more oxygen. I'm gonna want better doors. I'm going to want... to do the drone control up, and we're gonna end up using that anti-ship drone. Got full power. Um, 
You know, this is not too expensive, so we'll upgrade that. I hate, I hate piloting. I think this is one of the stupidest things. Um, and then we'll cap out the engines. So now I've got lots of options, like if I don't need to use the cloak, or I don't need the med bay up, I can fully power the engines and our evasion goes up to 55%, which is really good. Or, if I'm not worried about evasion, I can power up the anti-ship drone, which I don't think we're really going to need. I think what we'll do is let's open up with, um... Well, I think I'm going to open up defensively, because he's got all of these missile launchers. We'll do the defense drone. We'll do a level 2 cloak as soon as we fire, as soon as we see something scary. And what I want to do is take out the missile launcher, which I think is this one. The beam one I don't care about. The lasers... Yeah, that's a that's like a hull laser, triple hull laser shot. That's a triple um, ion damage, triple missile, triple... That's like a good pike, crazy-ass pike beam. So, I think we will cloak. Even though I... Okay, yeah. I'm just going to cloak through these, because I don't want to risk... ...getting hit by those big missiles. Oh shoot, and I shot right after I did it, so that didn't do anything. That was useless. How dumb of me. At least we took down their shields. Let's take out that missile launcher. Oh, there's the cloak. At least my evasion's high right now. Um... Oh, got hit by two missiles. There we go. Missiles are getting down. Should be fine. I think we're good. And actually, we don't need the defense drone then if the missiles are down. You can... When I'm doing this, when I rotate between the two, you don't lose this drone. It keeps moving around, and as long as you stay in the same sector, or the same, like, teleport spot, um, that drone is still there, so I can easily reactivate and bounce between the two. Alright, so there's phase one of the Rebel flagship. Let's get the ship repaired a bit. Actually, the ship seems to be in pretty good order. Matt needs to heal. And, uh... Let's actually have Oni go ahead and, since we have a full crew now, I'll have Oni go back on the shields, because he's good at it. And then you three, you just, you're the shield repair guy, and then you two are the re response unit. So, are you actually going backwards? That's weird. I think so. Alright, so this is the drone phase. Got rid of the ion blaster. Still has his missiles. Still has his cloak also. Let's let's throw out the drones. Actually, I don't think he does have cloak. I think we blew off the cloak wing, didn't we? Yeah, so we can't cloak anymore. Breach drone, kind of annoying. I'm just gonna ignore it, because if you kill it, then he just sends another one. You get multiple breaches in your hull. Which is annoying. Excellent. That was a like, nearly perfect blast. Now we'll switch to... Uh, no, we'll keep that guy up and we'll cloak. We'll cloak through this. Please don't tell me I just fired. Good, I did not. I was like, oh god, don't, don't do the cloak! Look at all these, <laughs> these drones! Alright, so now we will take out that. Take out... Um, Take out the cockpit and the engines. He's done. Easy. Oh my gosh, he's so easy. Like, stupendously easy to kill. This is on normal mode, right? Almost positive that it is. That's what I started off on yesterday. Go up to level three oxygen, just for for fun. And actually, the most important I'd say is the weapons. We'll keep keep the weapons fully repaired, please. 
And uh, let's move on to the final final encounter. All right, so he's got his big, huge thing. Uh, the anti-ship drone will help out quite a bit there to bring that down. And uh, we'll train everything here. Just because that's 10 points of damage we've got to go through. Got boarded. Send you two over there. And uh, can we still shoot one down? Yeah, we shot one down. Good. We'll vent that fire. Switch back to the anti ship. Excellent. Actually, starting to pierce the shields, and I'm not even really paying attention to it. Time to retreat for a second. And uh, do we want to cloak soon? Yes, we do. Okay, so everything just got fired. Let's turn off the weapons. And now we're going to wait for the big blast. He'll go pew and shoot in every direction. He's actually trying to get through, so let's just let him through. Now they want to take out door control. Now we'll cloak. That's a lot of hull lasers, is what that is. And actually, he's dead. God, I feel like this playthrough was ridiculously easy, considering it was normal mode. Maybe I'm just that much better now. I love the Kestrel. It's one of my favorite ships. Fleshy. Alright, so we got a score of 4907. Let's go look at the stats. So that's actually my first victory that I've played for YouTube on normal mode. Yeah, I deleted the game a long time ago and I had a whole bunch of normal victories, but then I started off on easy. But that's my highest score now. Got 45-18 on easy, the adjudicator. It's pretty good. Let's see if we can figure out what that achievement was that I got. Um, oh, yeah, that's all it was. I just unlocked normal stuff. Get to sector 5. Unlocked. Beat the boss. I've already beat the boss on easy. Yep. Own your own fleet. Unlock every playable ship. Apparently, I've collected ten thousand scrap. Defeat a thousand ships. I haven't done that yet. Coming in for my pacifism run. Wow, just running from people. Interesting. Get to sector eight without using missiles or bombs. Blistophobia. Get to Sector 8 without losing a crew member. Wow. Failed to evade five shots in a row with a fully powered and upgraded engine. Have a single boarding drone? Kill four crew members on one ship? Wow. I don't know how you do that. You'd probably have to like send over your own people to assist him, but then have them leave. Cool. Alright, well thanks so much for watching everyone. Appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. See you soon.